enter the world of myth and legend, where ancient relics hold great power, and encounter the remarkable Tarnkapa, an invisibility cloak of extraordinary abilities. But with great power comes a price, and the Tarnkapa's legacy is woven with deception, ambition, and hidden dangers. The saga begins in the depths of the enchanting forests of Germania, where the formidable dwarf Alberic safeguarded the Nibelung Horde, a vast collection of gold, jewels, and ancient artifacts. The Nibelung Horde was not merely a trove of wealth. It held relics of ancient magic and stories of lost power. Chief among Alberic's treasures was the Tarnkapa, a mystical cloak that not only granted invisibility, but also imbued its wearer with unmatched strength. Under its shadow, Alberic protected his hoard, using the cloak's magic to outwit and overpower any intruder. Rumors of the hoard's wealth and the legendary cloak traveled far and wide, spreading whispers of its allure and unmatched power. But Alberic's cunning and strength could not shield him from Siegfried, a young and bold warrior known for his unyielding spirit. Siegfried was no ordinary warrior, renowned for his courage and unmatched prowess. The Nibelung Horde's wealth and the dwarf's formidable reputation ignited his ambition, leading him deep into the heart of the forest, determined to uncover the concealed treasures. Cloaked in the Tarnkapa, Alberic watched from the shadows, confident in his invisibility and strength. Yet, despite Alberic's magic, Siegfried's determination was unrelenting. In a fierce struggle, Siegfried fought not only against Alberic's physical strength, but also the illusions cast by the Tarnkapa. With unwavering courage and skill, Siegfried overpowered Alberic, ripping the cloak from his grasp and claiming its power for himself. With the Tarnkapa in his possession, Siegfried's victory marked the beginning of his rise to power. The cloak wrapped around Siegfried's shoulders, adapting to his form as if it had chosen a new master. Its magic was not limited to invisibility. Siegfried could feel its power strengthening his limbs and sharpening his senses. With each act of secrecy, Siegfried felt the cloak's whispers, an insidious voice urging him to press further, to seize what lay beyond reach. Empowered by the Tarnkapa, Siegfried could now navigate unseen, observe without detection, and operate with impunity. Siegfried journeyed to the court of King Gunther of Burgundy, where he soon gained the king's favor through his feats of courage. Within the court, Siegfried's mastery of the Tarnkapa deepened his entanglement in secrets and lies. He learned to navigate the shadows, spying on rivals and discovering ambitions buried beneath noble facades. The cloak's magic gave him the edge to uncover the weaknesses of his enemies, but each deception left a lingering doubt in his mind, a reminder of the cost of hidden strength. It was at King Gunther's court that Siegfried encountered the proud and formidable Queen Brynhild, she had declared that only the man who could defeat her in combat would win her hand, and many had tried and failed. King Gunther desired her as his queen, but he feared her strength and resolve. Siegfried, eager to prove his worth and repay Gunther's favor, offered his aid. Using the Tarnkapa, Siegfried disguised himself as King Gunther and faced Brunhild in her trials. The cloak's magic gave him the edge he needed to outmaneuver her, securing Gunther's victory in secret. But this victory was built on deceit, and Brunhild, unaware of the truth, grew suspicious. As distrust spread through the court, Siegfried's actions set in motion a chain of events that could not be undone. Brunhild's growing unease and the hidden tensions within the court threatened to unravel everything Siegfried had achieved. The whispers of the Tarnkapa, once offering promises of power, now echoed with the consequences of betrayal. Siegfried's victory over Alberic had brought him to new heights, but it had also bound him to the cloak's dark promises. The Tarnkapa assisted Siegfried's rise to power, which ultimately brought about his downfall. Though he had used the cloak to achieve great things, the cost of its magic was his trust and honor. What was once his greatest weapon had now sealed his fate. Siegfried met his end through treachery rather than in a glorious battle and the very cloak that had given him so much power shrouded his final moments. After Siegfried's death, the Tarnkapa slipped back into legend, waiting patiently for the next soul drawn to its allure. In the underworld of enchanted relics, its dark reputation endures. For those who pursue it are warned, the gift of invisibility is not just power. It is a curse that corrodes trust, leading inevitably to betrayal and downfall. 
And so, the Tarnkapa remains, a legend and a cautionary tale, a reminder that great power, hidden from the light, can never be wielded without cost. It waits silently in the dark, ready to cloak its next victim in shadows, offering the world but demanding much more in return. If you enjoyed this tale and want to hear more about enchanted beings, legendary relics, and forgotten myths, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.